Hey, this is the part two video on drawing a bar graph. So in the part one, we discussed about the importance of choosing or selecting a right uh, scale or unit length. In this part, let's solve one problem. So we have a table here, and this shows the items list, and this is the expenditure for each of these items. And assume that it's you whose expenditure is given here. So for the house rent, it's 3,000. For food, it's 3,400. Education, it's 800. Electricity, it is 400. And for transport, it is 600. So this is your monthly expenditure on these cell different items. If you have to represent this information using a bar graph, then how would you do this? Now, we know that the first step is always what? We have to select a proper scale. In this case, if you look at these numbers, it is 600, 400, 800, 3400 and 3000. So can we take scale as 100? Yes, we can take scale as 100, but in that case, we'll have to plot a lot of numbers starting from 100 and 200 and 300 and 400, 5, 6, 700, 800 and so on. So you'll have to plot a lot of numbers. So is there any way to reduce that? Yes, you have to choose or select some other scale. What about uh, 200? Can we choose 200? Yes, of course we can choose 200. If we choose 200, then it is zero, then 200, then 400, then 600, then 800. And now from 800, it's 1000, then 1200. Now assume that you have reached to 2800, then will come 3000 and then will come 3400. So it's a perfect scale. Can we take 300? No, we can't take 300 because in that case, these numbers will be left, right? So 200 is a good scale. So a scale is 200. It's always one of the most important thing is to choose the right scale. Now, if I have to draw the bar graph using the scale of 200, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a bar graph where these items list, this items list will be on the vertical, on the horizontal line and the ex these numbers representing expenditure will be on the vertical line. And after doing this, let's suppose that it looks like something like this. So this is the vertical line and on the vertical line we have plotted these numbers that are showing expenditure and on the horizontal line we have the items list. Okay, so let me write here expenditure expenditure and here this is items. Okay, now for house rent, okay, before, before plotting the bars, it's always important that whenever you plot the numbers, okay, the unit length should be same. In that case, in, in this case, I have, you know, plotted these numbers, I've drawn these marks using my rough hand, but not using any scale and all. So it's important that you always choose the scale and in a way that the unit length is always the same in for all these intervals. Okay, for this interval should be same as this one, as this one, and as this one. And the bars that you will draw should be of the uniform length and spaced, you know, very uh, properly, very uniformly. So for, in the case of house rent, it is 3000. In the case of house rent, it is 3000. So this is our house rent, and this is here where our height of this bar should be. So this is 3000. Okay. So this is for the month of, sorry, for house rent. This is for the house rent. Next one, we have 3,400 for food. 
So for food, we have 3,400. Here should be the end point of our bar. So let me take a you know line here. Let me take a line here so that we draw it very accurately. And I'll just remove it, okay? If you have the scale, then you can do it without drawing any lines and all. I'm just drawing so that my bar is at the correct height because I have to draw a bar which is at the height of 3400. And always remember that your bars should be of what? Should be of same width of the uniform width and uniformly placed. Let me remove for this one. Okay, then for education it is 800. For education it is 800. So for education it is 800. Let me draw. Sorry. So for education it's 800. I'm again repeating, I have drawn this line so that I can, I could draw this, these bars accurately and you need not to draw this line if you have this key, right? So this is 800 and then for electricity, for electricity it's 400, for electricity it is 400. Electricity it is 400. So this is for electricity. And then for transport it is 600. For transport it is 600. I'm sorry, I should have drawn this. I'm sorry, it should have been placed properly. Your bars should be of the same width and should be placed uniformly. And for transport it is, for transport it is 600. So here it goes like this. And I know that I have messed up in writing, you know, these items list. It should have been written more properly. I'll just adjust all those things, okay? Just give me a time. So for 600, it is transport. Okay, what I did is that I paused the video and made some, you know, uh, adjustments in writing these uh, this items list because the important thing is that your bars should not be should not be only of the unif of the same width or the uniform width, but also they should be placed uniformly. Okay, the place the distance between the two bars should be proper. So this is very important, and these uh, this is the uh, final bar graph on the horizontal line we have the items list on the vertical line we have the expenditure list uh, we have expenditure and our scale our scale is of 200 and here it is the bar graph okay so this is the way how we draw a bar graph using the information even it could be given in the form of a statement or in the form of this table the most important part is this one to choosing or selecting your proper scale and then you know uh, you while drawing you have to keep in mind that when you are drawing the numbers then the unit length or the scale should be of the same length right and your bars should be uniform.